Why every character sucks in Honkai Star Rail. Let's start off with Himiko. Himiko, honestly, she's pretty cool. But Asta, she kind of runs a big ship and she doesn't really know what she's doing. She likes to act like she knows what she's doing and that she's the captain of the ship. But really, everybody around her kind of just pulls her weight because she's kind of just dead weight on the ship. In reality, everybody knows that she's not the captain of the ship and that everybody around her kind of just pulls her weight because she has no clue what she's doing. She was just kind of birthed into this role. She was just kind of grandfathered into this role. There's people on the ship that do her job better. She just doesn't want to relinquish her spot as the captain because she's selfish. But uh, yeah, anyways. Hook. Hook is definitely an iPad kid. Um, you can see her brain rotting every time she tries to talk. It looks like she's just trying to flop around. I'm pretty sure when she tries to talk, she just walks away because she's so embarrassed that she doesn't know any words, which is completely fine by me. Um, she should come work at the museum. Uh, she has very early signs of iPad stupid kid syndrome, which is a shame because she will grow up and not know how to read, which is completely fine. I'll be hiring her to work at my museum. Um, you know, obviously we love people that can't talk here because that's less complaints that happen, which is amazing. Uh, we love that. And uh, you know what? Maybe she has a bright future. Um, actually, no, she doesn't. I'm going to keep her in a very dim lit. Uh, part of the museum so nobody can see what she actually looks like. Um, next we got Kafka. Uh, I got this character in 10 pulls. I don't really have anything to say about it. Welt. Uh, Welt wears glasses and as we all know that people that wear glasses are kind of like not really uh, put together. Uh, but I do respect Welt wearing glasses and not contacts uh, because, you know, it's easier for us to tell that he's just useless. Jing Liu. Uh, yeah, she kind of just freezes everybody, which is basically the devs saying that nobody wants to talk to her. I mean, she's kind of selfish. She kind of just takes the HP from everybody, uh, which is basically taking the energy out of the room. You know, if you're at a party or something, she's kind of just going to take the energy out of the room and uh, just kind of make the party worse, which is completely fine. Uh, if you like that sort of thing, but I'll be honest with you, I'm pretty sure this person doesn't get invited to anything uh, because she's kind of like not all there. She also wears a uh, blindfold, which I'm not too sure if she's trying to do magic or not, but uh, I haven't seen anything magical about her, honestly. She's kind of just a mid-unit. Next up is Gwenefin or whatever her name is. I'm not saying her full name. Her parents gave her way too long of a name, and I'm not going to say the entire thing. Yeah, she kind of like plants uh, bombs on her dog and make some run in there like a bomber I don't know I don't think you should be doing that with your dogs and she's also kind of a youtuber which uh, if you guys know youtubers are kind of lame but they're kind of cringe too so I've seen some of her cutscenes she's kind of cringe um, which is such a shame because you know you hate to see youtubers getting a bad name um, but it could be worse she could be a minecraft youtuber and uh, we already know how that goes next up is Topaz I think she just likes money um, honestly, I think she would marry into somebody that has a lot of money. Um, I'm pretty sure she does taxes or runs like a tax organization in the game. I'll be honest with you guys, I don't really pay attention to that part of the story. Anytime Topaz is on the screen, I kind of just pay attention to something else. But the story, I guess, is ruined every time she comes on. And uh, she always just tries to like take money and steal money. Also, she has this little runt following her around. Um, I'm pretty sure it's like a dog or I think it's called like a trotter. I'll be honest with you guys, every time I go into a game, I slaughter trotters. Uh -huh. They're kind of like wild that hogs like in the wild. In you have mood. to kind of like, you know, keep the population under control. So anytime you guys see a trotter, make sure you blow it up. Next up is Black Swan. Uh, Black Swan is kind of lazy. She's always chilling in the dream realm, which basically means that she's depressed because she's always tired and just wants to go back to bed because her dreams are better than reality, which is completely fine, but uh, in my opinion, that's kind of lame, and I think she needs to wake up and get a job. She is pretty popular, but she does wear a nightgown, so I'm pretty sure that's why people like her so much. I'll be honest, if she had a dress on, I'm pretty sure nobody would have summoned for her. Uh, next up is the smoking, lazy, drunk loser. Looks very dirty, his hair looks like a mess. He doesn't look like he's cleaned it in years. Um, I actually don't even know his name. I guess I don't have anything to say about him, really. Um, he seems pretty cool. Next up is Clara. Uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I have no clue why Clara is even a unit in this game. We don't really use Clara for Clara. We use her for the big robot mech guy in the back. Honestly, he's not even a mech, but I love calling every robot thing I see a mech. So I'm gonna call him a mech. 
And honestly, Clara is just kind of there just to bait people who like that kind of character design. Hopefully the robot just blows them up. Next up is Japard. I will be honest with you guys. Uh, Japard just makes a shield and uh, that basically means that he shields himself from society. He looks like he's an outcast and a loner and nobody really wants to talk to him because all he wants to talk about is military stuff. I'm pretty sure they don't let this guy have a gun for a reason, so they just give him a shield um, so that he can be useful, I guess. Because, you know, if we did give him a gun, I'm pretty sure nobody should be coming to the academy tomorrow. Next up is Sampo. Sampo is kind of supposed to be the funny guy, but uh, I'll be honest with you, I've sat through three hours of Sampo dialogue, and I haven't laughed one time. It's kind of like watching an Amy Schumer comedy special. You just don't laugh really at anything. Maybe during, like, the fourth hour mark, you'll laugh at something. Completely unrelated, maybe somebody threw up in the crowd, or somebody sneezed, or somebody just exploded. He is supposed to be one of those tricky, mysterious characters, but I'll be honest with you, I'm pretty sure that you can just go to his Wikipedia and look up everything about him. And this guy has an entire wiki about him, but we'll just pretend like he's mysterious for now. Next up is Seal. Uh, yeah, Seal is just a terrible unit. Seal is just not that guy anymore. Um, ever since Acheron came out, honestly, Acheron has been such a great unit and she does so much damage. She's kind of like the bigger sister of this character. No joke, really, she is honestly the bigger sister of this character. Look at the designs, they basically just stole Seal's design and made her better. They just made her a grown adult that does more damage, and uh, honestly, I feel bad for Seal. I will say this, the voice for Seal uh, is pretty good. I will be honest with you guys, I have sat through maybe 20 minutes of Seal's dialogue, and. She's not too bad. Out of every character in this game, uh, this is probably the one that's the least annoying, so uh, that's a good thing, I guess. Next up is Su Shang. She's an ice unit that carries around a bunch of swords. Honestly, it's just kind of a disappointment, really. I just think to myself, how is this girl gonna lose this time? All those swords and for what? I'm pretty sure she gets a new sword every time she loses. She has like eight or seven swords, so. Um, yeah, she's lost quite a bit. She's like the opposite of General Grievous. Next up is Yangxing. I'm talking about the physical damage dealer. This one actually carries around just one humongous sword. He can barely hold it, and it's honestly kind of pathetic. I don't know if this person is trying to be guts or not, but they're doing a terrible job of it. It's kind of like that person that reads Berserk for the first time, or maybe for the tenth time, and goes out and thinks he can like beat up like somebody with a knife. Then the person just gets stabbed and they die. Barely can lift a sword and some of that a giant chicken. Like where did that come from? I'm gonna eat that thing later. Next up is Yukong. This character is a furry. I'm pretty sure those ears and everything else on her is fake, which is very sad. Obviously, she's had a lot of body adjustments. She's just trying to fit into society. It's honestly very sad to see. Every time I see her, it looks like she's gonna cry. She did make that choice by herself. And honestly, I don't think we'll be seeing much of her anymore. Uh, kind of just because her story's over and because I don't think she wants to really go on anymore. Uh, next up is this emo goth lady. Uh, yeah, she looks like she just doesn't get a lot of sleep. She looks like she just doesn't want to be here anymore. Looks like she just kind of just doesn't want to be alive anymore. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with this character. Next up is Rune Mei. This lady is like 40 years old, it looks like. Or at least that's how she dresses. I'm pretty sure she's one of those people that like prey on like young men or something. I know a lot of you probably like that, but I don't really like that. And I think it's kind of weird. Um, she tries to relive her glory days, but she's an old bag of bones now and she can't even pull anything. The only thing that she's pulling is her back. They do keep her on the bottom of the ship, uh, nice and far away from everybody. Uh, I think that's the only good thing that that useless captain has ever done, because nobody really wants to talk to her or associate themselves with her because she just kind of runs up and touches their face, which is kind of weird. I don't even think she washes her hands. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's like no running water on the bottom of the ship. So uh, I'm not too sure, she probably smells too. Next up is this person with white and black hair, I'll be honest, I don't even know this character's name. But the only thing that I have to say about this character is that uh, I have no clue who this person is, and that's probably because they're very unimportant. Next up is Acheron. Acheron is very cool. Um, Seal obviously wants to be her one day, uh, she will never be her. She kind of just sends people that she doesn't like to black holes, which is not a good way to deal with people like that. I'm pretty sure she has anger problems too, yeah, she just seems like an emotional wreck. She can't stop time, so hopefully she'll stop time and work on herself one day. Next up is 
Arlong. I'll be honest, I completely forgot this character existed. Um, I'm pretty sure I've never used this character in my life. Uh, I will say this, I'm pretty sure this person can be a captain of the ship, but obviously that's never going to happen because Asta is an absolute tyrant and uh, she needs to be uh, she needs to be taken from the spot that she's in, uh, however you want to interpret that. He just runs around the ship and uh, everybody ignores him because he's kind of short. Asta is kind of his friend, so um, everybody just ignores him for the most part. Which doesn't help for people that want to talk to him because obviously nobody on that ship likes that character. Uh, not even Rune Mei, which is kind of crazy to say. Next up is Herda. Uh, I mean, I think the game kind of says enough about this character. Uh, you get him for free, which I'm pretty sure any character in this game that you get for free uh, is just completely garbage. I mean, look at Dr. Ratio. Not much to say about this character. Kind of just like a useless NPC that just talks and gets in the way with their dialogue. Uh, I really wish they'd just be quiet. Um, next up is QQ. Uh, she just gambles a lot and she kind of just wastes all of her money that she could be donating to charity. She just kind of has a gambling problem. She's poor because she never wins and um, it is what it is. I always see her on the streets begging for money. Every time she gets that money, she goes and plays on the pachinko machines, which is whatever. I mean, I guess if that's how you want to live your life, um, then you can be a bum. Next up is Silverwolf. I know a lot of people were saying that this character was such a good character in the beginning of the game, but I'll be honest with you, this character is absolutely useless now. Uh, the only thing that she does is she just appears in the story to hack things, and that's about it, really. She doesn't really have any game-changing abilities that could like completely change your entire account. I guess the only good thing is that she has a cool jacket, but that's about it. Uh, Ting Yun, this character is dead, so who really cares? Uh, plus she's a furry, so, you know, I mean, I guess it's a good thing. Next up is the Trailblazer, the male and female. I'll start off with the male one first. This is the one that I have, and honestly, uh, this person is just a big baby. The female one, this one is just a big baby as well. They're both big babies and they suck. Next up is, honestly, I don't even know how to say her name, so I'm not even gonna try. This character is the sister of the emo girl. She always talks about Mara. I don't know who Mara is, but that lady needs to hide because this person does not like them. Every time she mentions that name, uh, she throws like a giant stick at somebody and impales them. Yeah, I can already tell that this person is unpleasant to be around. Yeah, I don't even want to talk about this one. I'm gonna get impaled through my window or something. Next up is Serval. She's kind of just like a SoundCloud artist with no talent. She plays the guitar, but she doesn't play it that well. She does work in a shop, and nobody really visits that shop except Japard because there's just nothing to do in that shop. There's nothing that you can buy in there, so why would anybody be in there? I have no clue, to be honest, but yeah, just kind of a useless character. But yeah, she's just kind of there wasting her time at a dead-end job. She probably wishes that she can do music, but like I said, she's just not that good, and she knows it as well, so she doesn't even go for it, which is completely fine. I think it should stay that way. Next up is Luocha. Uh, Luocha is garbage. Healers in this game are just garbage, so. Also, he does get out formed by Natasha. She's a four star character that you get for free so uh, I'm not too sure what to say about that. Next up is Blade. Uh, same thing here, gets uh, performed by Natasha. Um, guy is just a self healer, DPS, all this other garbage. We already have Natasha so I'm not too sure why this guy's in the game. Uh, he does not want to be alive uh, which is completely fine with me, um, but I'm pretty sure this guy's immortal and he doesn't die. Unless he's on somebody's account that's like really terrible. Uh, then maybe he will die. I think he's just one of those characters that if you summon for him, uh, it's because you were just really bad at the game. Or maybe you were tired of using Don Hong. Honestly, uh, this character might be good. Next up is Bronya. I know a lot of people say this character is amazing and that she can do so much for the team, but honestly, I don't really care about any of that. If she can't solo MOC, she's not good at the game. Uh, and I'll be honest with you guys, I do have Bronya and she did not solo MOC. Very disappointing. She's a terrible unit. Also, she's an orphan and her mother is dead. Next up is the Thunder God guy. I have never seen this guy on my friends list, and I think that's because he's terrible and nobody pulled for him. He just he's just not a good character. I have no clue what to tell you guys, but why would you pull this character? Why would you use this character when you have a Karan? Uh, next up is March 7th. What an annoying character this character is. I can't believe this character has to follow us around every day. I can't believe this character has to come along in the story every single time that we do anything. This character is here, right next to us, texting us, trying to 
just look at us. I don't even know what's going on. I'll be honest, I've never used this character. I have no clue what she does. But just a very annoying character that nobody likes. Her name is March 7th because nobody wants to give her an actual name because she's not even a real person. But I think the best feature that they can add to her is for her to stop talking. Next up is the library lady. Uh, she is boring. She is absolutely boring and honestly another one of those support characters that can't solo MOC. Uh, trust me, I've tried a billion times and it just doesn't work. She kind of just reads books all day, which uh, makes her think that she's smart, but honestly that's not really the case. She just knows a lot about specific things. But anyways, why would you want to be in a library when you can be in a museum that is ran by me? Um, everybody's happy in that museum. Next up is, I don't even know, this guy was on a car or something. They had this guy on a car. A picture with a car. I don't. I'll be honest. I don't know who this character is. I might summon for him. I might not. He's kind of just trash, anyways. Um, he has red hair. We're just kind of a sign that he sucks. Next up is the boxing legend uh, that nobody knows the name of because nobody uses this character. This guy just kind of has a mechanical arm. I'm pretty sure, uh, which means that he lost his arm at one point because he's careless and he doesn't really care about his body which is completely fine by me it means that he's not going to be here much longer i'm pretty sure he tried to fight a robot and lost um, which is pretty embarrassing i don't know why they made an entire story about that but it was the worst story i've ever played next up is robin um this character is supposed to be able to sing but i haven't heard a single note come out of her that sounded good at every time this character ults uh she keeps singing afterwards which is uh just sounds very annoying uh, i can't wait to never summon for this character Next up is the keyhole and the eye servant uh, boy thing. I don't even know. This character is just useless, honestly. This character works in the hotel, and honestly, if this character disappeared, uh, nobody would notice because his job is just that uh, unimportant. But that's okay, I guess. Uh, that's how most jobs are. It's not really his fault. He kind of just gets put in these terrible positions where he has to talk to people that are probably very dangerous. This character just doesn't look happy. Uh, next time I see him in the hotel, I'll push him down into the abyss. Um, next up is Ventron. I have no clue how to say his name. This is the guy that carries the coins around. Uh, or should I say the coin because he doesn't have a lot of money because he's poor. He does dress like he's not poor, but everybody can see right through that. Uh, this character is dirt poor. We've seen the cutscenes. We've seen the pay slips. This guy is not a good character. This guy is a very poor character. Yeah, he kind of just flips coins and does magic, which is kind of like being good at using a tech deck. Uh, completely useless. This character is just kind of a disappointment. And uh, I have seen his kit and it looks terrible. Next up is Dr. Ratio. Dr. Ratio is complete trash. Next up is Bailu. Bailu is a little girl and if you like them, you need to go to jail. If you have them built, you need to go to jail. Next up is Hugh Hugh. Uh, Hugh Hugh is a little girl, and if you built them, you need to go to jail. Next up is Lynx. This character is a little girl, and if you have them built, you need to go to jail. Next up is the Fox Girl Lady. This character is a little girl, and if you have them, you need to go to jail. Next up is Fu Shuang. Fu Shuang is honestly one of the worst characters in the game. Uh, people say that she's a good support, which it seems like a lot of people say that every character that's a support in this game is good. Um, she is honestly one of the worst units I've ever seen and I've seen her ultimate it's boring and it's unrealistic If you did pull this character you probably like painting walls letting it dry and eating the shards like chips So the last two here are the same character really both of them are Dong Hung and Bibiter Lune Ugh, I hate saying that name that name is terrible every time I say that name I feel like I'm eating trash Honestly, I'm not even gonna put this part in Dong Hung is complete trash So they had to make a new version of him called him Bibiter Lune even then nobody really wants to use him because they get kind of shamed for using him uh, Because apparently he's so good, but uh, honestly this guy looks terrible um, he kind of looks like a furry too, and he kind of reminds me of the deer boss. Uh, I wish I could fight him more. I wish they made a boss fight of this guy so I completely destroy him every single time like a deer boss. Um, I've beaten the deer boss, by the way, multiple times, and this person reminds me of the deer boss. So I do hope that one day they can add DLC to this game so that Don Hung becomes one of the bosses that you had to farm. And if they make him a boss in the game that drops gear, I'll be the person that has the best gear set in the game. This character is complete trash and I wish they would remove him from the game.